The following footage represents motion matching capabilities coming from the game animation sample project shipped by Epic over a week ago. By collaborating with Unreal DevOps on YouTube, we have been able to figure out a couple of issues with aim offsets not working properly when standing still and turn in place would cause abnormalities with overlay posts not following the aim offset as supposed to. The reason why aim offsets were pretty much problematic is because of experimental animgraph node called offset root bone. This follows motion matching root transforms in order to offset the character of the collision capsule that dictates with what the character is able to interact and collide with. The target of this exercise and project in general is to represent the capabilities of using this system for third-person shooter genre of games. While this feature is not exactly complete for any shipping projects, this is a great opportunity for Epic to see and observe how powerful this system can help in production of animations. For example, in order to make locomotion states and different animations will play depending on what direction your pawn will be going, uh, we are not utilizing state machines anymore, but we're utilizing post search database and chooser plugin. Through post search database spreadsheets, we can run post search database containers that contain all those animations that would only play if all conditions in a row are met and conditions can be booleans, enums, floats, if everything falls in rage, if everything is green for this specific database to play, it will play. If there are multiple databases playing at once, there might be issues due to normalizations. This specific system allows us to run locomotion states without state machines and the algorithm itself, which is based on machine learning, it will switch to the next available animation sequence in a database that matches the frame, matches the conditions, directions, root transform speed, and so on. Animation sequences still require work on each angle. Whatever foot starts first, for example, whenever you run or whenever you walk, for the database to be able to index every single frame of every single animation, cache it, and be able to play later on. For example, if you are about to stop, you have the full animation sequence of a character walking and stopping and standing still, right at the state where the character is starting to stop and starting to stand still for the next few frames, that's why you want to not have those notifiers on because that allows the post search database and the motion matching algorithm to find the proper animation in case the states are being changed like as if you're moving or crouching or jumping and so on i believe one of the games shipped by epic which is fortnite uses motion matching for their locomotion but we are still in the raw when we are trying to figure out how we can easily switch between states when, for example, when character is sliding. We have some solutions to this, like playing with post index bias that allows motion matching algorithm to see how often it can refresh between poses, depending on how many it has animation sequences per database that is currently active and how often they can switch in between different samples at the same condition in order to give variety and so on and so on. This is an entirely new system that everybody has got their hands on. It's been available in Experimental ever since 5.3 and right now in 5.4.2 with game animation sample released we are now seeing how much different the production of animations is going to change third-person shooters adventures, or any games that utilize similar technologies, like GTA 5, or how Ubisoft came up with it. And responsive. Sure, it was an open gym and nothing in the way, but we had just created a better looking and feeling locomotion system in four hours that would take the best teams in Ubisoft at least three months. Awesome and terrifying in one video. 
uh, more and more future assassin creeds still use the same technology ever to this day for over a decade and as of recent as well half-life alex on source 2 uses similar motion matching technology with plenty of corrective logics especially for feet when you look at the enemies in the game when the animation that we were playing didn't differ too much from how the strider targeting system was adjusting the feet so we needed a system that was really good at picking the closest animation based on a set of criteria that system's basically motion matching. So we are having a blast of technological improvement where we can make such quality animations that are probably all with AAA at home. If you have motion capture at home, this pretty much makes your workflow, your pipeline of making locomotion easy. Like I'm talking close to drag and drop easy but you still need to process some denoising and notifies and such